Shortly after Tom and Carrie Dull were married, they found themselves with a bit of a dilemma. They had a farm, one they hoped to expand. The problem? It grew lousy crops. So we thought we'd try uh, Christmas trees and with the intention of planting enough maybe that we could save a little money for the kids' college education. Well, it worked. Uh, they both graduated from college without any debt and um, the, the whole tree farm experience has grown beyond what we ever imagined it being. The Dulls, now with the help of a second generation, have been growing and selling Christmas trees for nearly 30 years and Tom's always searching for ways to improve the family business. Here's kind of the conversation, the way it goes between my wife and myself. I'll go home or, or come in and say, Carrie, I've got an idea. And her reaction is always, you want to do what? Those conversations have led to a variety of improvements at the farm. There's the ever-expanding wreath barn, the log cabin turned gift shop, and many others. But one of the most unique suggestions actually came from outside the family. A lady at my church approached me and said, Tom, a lady that I work with is looking for a, a, a Christmas tree farm to do a fundraising program with their dogs. And I said, well, tell her to call me and, and we'll talk about it. So uh, she called me and, and she proposed the idea about bringing their dogs out uh, to the farm and using the dogs to pull trees up out of the field for the customers. And how cool is that? Their dogs aren't just any dogs. They're Newfoundlands, or Newfies, as they're lovingly called. The tree pull started about 11 years ago. The first tree pull year we came out here, I didn't even know what to expect. And my dogs, he could kind of pull. But I remember coming out here and wondering, what do we do, how do we do it, where are we going? And then once you're here, things just fell right into place. The dogs that could pull started pulling, and it just all happened very naturally. Here we go. Our Newfoundlands come. Uh, we hook them up to carts, and we will pull your tree out of the field and bring it up here where you can pay for it. Timber. Pull, oh, good boy. That's it. We also have Newfoundlands who maybe not might not be trained to pull, or might be a little too young, a little too old, not in good health, whatever. There are people breeders, and so we any have usually between 50 to 60 Newfoundlands here for people to come up, meet, get to know the breed, meet some of the rescues that are available for adoption. Not surprisingly, it's become one of the tree farm's biggest days. Most of the questions that we get via our email or our website uh, is what day are the dogs coming? People that have come from all over, people that have made this their annual holiday tradition. To me, it heralds the beginning of a season in a very real way. And this event, held each year on the first Sunday of December, is for a great cause. The dogs work for tips, and the tips go right back to the club's rescue program. Right now, our rescue club is covering um, Indiana, Ohio, and Kentucky. And that's a large territory. I believe it was last year we took in 69 Newfoundlands. Now, for a breed that's not just all that popular, I mean, that's a phenomenal amount of dogs. Rescue is important because hundreds of noofs are left without a home. Either they need, they're put in shelters, they're found as strays, and I think it's up to those of us within any breed to help the ones that need us. For us, it's a responsibility. If we're going to be a club about Newfoundlands, we need to be responsible for their welfare. And for the dolls, it's always been about giving back. Well, the community supports us and we've tried to instill that uh, it's important to give back. Um, you, you can't be a taker. It's just built into us, that's what we do. Helping families celebrate their Christmas experience with a Christmas tree that we have spent, you know, seven or eight years nurturing and growing and then watching the families come out with their kids and building tradition and having um, happy experiences. It's just a great feeling inside. I mean, it's really, really busy time for us but it's a happy busy.